Let's start and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're looking at Euro Dollar. Um, this is when the trade doesn't go quite as you planned. So uh, I'm bullish on the Euro Dollar uh, in the long term on the daily. So um, I've taken positions here uh, quite early on the uh, oscillator. Uh, re entered again uh, when it came down further. It rolled over again with a big bearish candle. Uh, bottomed out and then we've got some reversals on the uh, oscillators so I just entered a trade there trading the five minute uh, we've got a bearish uh, candle here on the five minute but looks it so it probably will come down a bit and then come back up uh, I've got my take profit set at 9981 this is the uh, just the hundred dollar account I'm doing in the minute I'll show you now so we're at 197 yeah 197 about that this is a uh, 0.2 percent today uh, yesterday uh, we got up to 197. Well, the stats haven't quite updated here, um, but anyway, we're looking good on, on the accounts. Um, it's all moving up nicely, so that's good. This is my Euro dollar position, so I'm currently just uh, a break even uh, on this. This is going to move around a bit, but I've got three positions on this, uh, so you can see what I've done. Uh, so this is my initial position here. CFD so that was a $50 $53 trade uh, and then into two smaller positions as price came down uh, I wasn't confident on the, this uh, first position uh, the 33 position uh, wasn't confident that that was actually the best price uh, and it did then head lower so um, I entered again so overall basically we got $66 we ended slightly higher than the original position on those so basically um, be taking those ones up and then I may take out this one for break even depending on that, what the uh, price action is like uh, I'm pretty confident we'll come back up but um, we'll have to wait till later uh, if it does roll over again I'm gonna have to manage the position and then look to get out of it for break even the total position um, but we had uh, three and a, I think 3.6 percent uh, profit yesterday um, initially in this account I made a terrible trade on gold uh, gold uh, we traced. Um, I don't trade gold very much at all, uh, and I shouldn't have done it on this challenge really. But I like the look at the setup, uh, but it completely reversed on me and um, yeah, wiped me out for a loss. Uh, luckily, the pound uh, made a fantastic reversal, got in right at the bottom of the pound move, and it just rocketed back up. So um, that bailed me out to be honest on that one. So I made back more than I lost. Um, let's have a look at these trades, see what we've got in my history. Let's just have a look at the history here. So this one yesterday was Aussie dollar Japanese yen. Uh, that one actually went into profit, came back and hit my um, stop loss, which I've removed to break even. Uh, I don't often do that, but I just didn't like the way the price action was going. So uh, good decision anyway in that case, I think. Um, made some money on the Aussie dollar, Euro dollar yesterday as well. Um, that was a nice, nice trade straight in. 5.8% and closed. Uh, so good day yesterday. Now these were the pound trades that bailed me out. So you can see we've got 50% on that one and 33 on this. Uh, absolutely uh, awesome um, move on price there. But um, down the bottom you'll see my gold trade. I think these will. So there's a loss here. This is Euro Oz. So I was, I was bullish on a Euro Oz. Um, just a bit too early by the looks of things. But um, that trade there, that was just a loser. Uh, nothing. Uh, say about that it was just uh, I got in the wrong position um, and, and sold for a loss so that's yeah that does happen uh, again a loss here on the US dollar Swiss franc and this was my gold and pound ends it had a shocking day there but looks like 22nd and 23rd uh, made a slight win there on yours but basically you're down overall there so you can see these are big losses as well this would not normally happen on my positions but uh, the leverage there on gold and just did not move my favor um, re-entered I think on one of those uh, but the thing just rolled over so I'm not going to be trading I'm going to be sticking with currencies <laughs> uh, there's a deposit here the $50 uh, so that brought the balance up and we are up if you look at the top here so money in 151 we are currently sitting at 17.9% uh, profit on that money so basically what I've decided to do with this account is to just deposit like $50 every now and again. So I want to simulate somebody who's not got much money and that can just enter the market uh, with, with $50 every now and again. Uh, that's what you see on the 24th of September. So I'll probably put another 50 in 
again and we're just going to basically um, compound this account over time and I'll show you people that it is possible um, I'm running NT4 on a separate computer so um, I've got this one running at the side so it's a bit awkward sometimes you've really got to be careful when you enter when I enter trades well actually on MT4 it's done by my EA but on on here I have to do it all manually so I have to check my trades check the setups are valid and then pick the best ones uh, for this account um, so yeah we'll see how this goes it's looking good so far so we're up um 17.9% in total uh, $30 so it will be interesting to see what we could get this to a you know over a period of a year or something but um, looking good so far